The workflow of Context Dev is quite similar to the standard Flux workflow. Here's an explanation of the relevant processes. 1. Loading the model. Note that in the unit loader, select the model flux one dev context underscore fp8 underscore scale dot save tensor single quotes. Both the clip and V are the same as those in flux.1. 2. Uploading images. If multiple images are needed as references, enable the image stitching node and upload more images. 3. Prompts and conditions. Context excels at understanding detailed instructions and maintaining consistency, so the more specific the prompt text, the better. It is recommended to set the guidance value to 2.5. For sampler settings, refer to the settings in the diagram for configuration. The TensorArt workflow creation interface already has completed workflows that you can directly select and use. Since context controls image editing entirely through prompt text, the quality of the generated results depends entirely on the way the prompt is written. Here are some tips to help you have a better experience when using context. 1. Ensure descriptive precision by avoiding vague vocabulary and using specific parameters or features instead. For example, use the woman with short black hair rather than she. 2. Adopt a change plus preserve dual track grammar. First specify what needs to be changed, then add elements to remain unchanged. For instance, switch to impressionist style, preserve the figure's dynamic posture. 3. When performing text editing, delimit the original and target text with quotation marks, such as, replace AIGC with Tensorer. Omnigen 2 is also such an image editing model. Then, which one has better effects between it and context? Let's carry out some effect comparisons. It can be seen that for simple modification requirements, the color and lighting of Omnigen are less stable than those of context. Omnigen may mistakenly affect other elements. It can be said that context has a better language understanding ability. In terms of style transfer, context retains more details of the original image, while Omnigen is more creative. You can choose according to your own needs. In terms of character consistency, there is hardly any significant difference and both models perform well. However, when it comes to image quality, context has fewer flaws. In terms of text replacement, context performs better. It can be seen that Omnigen does not reuse the original font style in the generated images, so context is still the better choice for text replacement. In terms of multi-image reference, the characters in Omnigen are slightly deformed, and the overall aesthetics are not as good as those of Context. So overall, Context Dev is better. That's the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave a message in the comments section. See you next time.